Hi, we're Periwinkle Planner Co. and we hope you enjoy the video. Good morning everybody, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. and today I'm going to be planning in my skinny mini. So let's uh, open this up. And I've had a couple people ask if I'm going to be restocking these covers again and I have to get them made so I'm hoping tomorrow that I get into my sewing studio and have a chance to make up three more. So just keep an eye on our Etsy store to see if they show up within the next week or two. So this is one of our covers from in our shop. Let's take a look at the current week. Pick up my bookmark. And here's what it looks like all filled in. Last week was the week that I wasn't really sure <laughs> <laughs> what stickers I was using and planning, but it turned out okay. I almost think this spread, this size of the spread, makes for a better um, using less stickers. Um, some of these weeks I put a lot of stickers in there and it makes it look more crowded. But I guess if you don't have a lot of things you're writing down each day, it's, it's fine too. All depends. It's all something new and trying to figure it out. So this week we are planning for March 9th through the 15th. So let's take these out of here. And in my classic catch-all planner this week, I'm doing um, the monochromatic spreads and this week is blue. So I kind of just went along with that and picked out some blue stickers to use for this week. I found my blue stickers in the Happy Illustration book. So these plant stickers so that's what I'm going to be using today okay so like I said I think I'm going to do a little more of a minimalistic spread this week with less stickers just to see if I like that better Oops. there we go okay and then uh, let's see what else we want it stick these blues are a little off but we're just gonna go with it maybe it doesn't show up too much on the camera and I found this sticker too, which the blues go, but it's got this little planning planner. So I think that I'm going to end up covering that up. So I'm going to stick this one over here on Monday. I'm gonna put the sticker up here and it is gonna cover Tuesday, but you know, I know that Tuesday comes after Monday and before Wednesday, so I think we'll be fine. And then I have this little box that has that same plant in here, which I'm going to use to cover this up. And then I found these little flags in the same color, so I'm going to stick one on Friday. And I'm going to stick one on Thursday just to balance it out. Friday, there is no school, so I found this day off sticker that I thought I'd stick on here. Trying to get this straight. <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard to get stickers straight in these little ones, or any of the half ones for that matter. And I have this little plant sticker to add down in the corner on Thursday way down here and trim off the edge a little bit. Urgent sticker I found just because it's the same color. I'm just gonna stick that over here on Wednesday. Make sure it's straight. And then put a checklist on Sunday. This is just a checklist that I took and cut a piece off so that it would fit in these little boxes. I have this sticker that matches the plants in here, which I thought would look cute on Saturday. Oops. And then I just have this little glittery piece so it doesn't look like that 
plant's just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> just kind of put that over here. Let's cut this off. And then I just have a couple little uh, bullet points I'm going to stick on. Should we stick them on Friday or Saturday? I think we'll stick one on each. Um, you know what? We'll just put them both on Saturday. And I think that's going to be it for this week. I'm just going to keep it simple. Again, I use this in my purse, so I just write down main events that are happening. Oops, lost our paper clip. <laughs> so let's stick that back in here for next week. And again, that sticker was from the Happy Illustration book. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.